Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this teleporting effect, or I believe some people also call this the nightcrawler effect, but we'll just call it the teleporting effect. Now, as you can see right here, you've already saw seen the intro of the video, and here is the editing breakdown um, of the intro. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I like to do more of editing breakdowns instead of step-by-step -step tutorials. That's the style that I enjoy um, creating. So I'm literally gonna kind of give you an editing breakdown. I and mean, for the most part, you can probably kind of get a general idea of how to create this but I'm still gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown. So as you can see right here, the top layer is an adjustment layer. Um, this is a plugin and you wanna head over here to the title the title plugins right here. Obviously you're gonna have to download this, but here's a plugin, an adjustment layer, and I just put it on top of the clip, of all the clips, just to make sure that all the clips have the same color. And then I use the color preset in the effects panel, um, went to color, and I created my own preset um, called VFX tutorials and I just applied that onto the adjustment layer. So now let's go down the timeline. So this these two effects right here are a smoke effect. Now I will do my best to put um, the download link in the description below. Don't worry it's free it doesn't cost you anything. But as you can see right here here is a smoke effect and then I repeated the smoke effect right there. Now what I did was I kind of moved the smoke effect, this one on top of this clip and on top of this clip. What I basically just did was I kind of used a transform tool to kind of make sure it was a uh, center. I, I scaled up a little bit just to make it a little bit more believable. But what you want to do to, with both these smoke layers, uh, smoke effects, is I, I went over to the blending mode right here and I clicked on lighten. If I went to normal, it would just be a black screen. So you want to go to lighten. I mean, it depends on which look you want, but for this one, the blending mode is on lighten. And I did the exact same thing. See, blending mode, lighten. If you don't put that, it's just going to be a black screen with smoke and it's not going to look that good. And of course, I used the scale tool to make it a little bit bigger. And I tried my best to kind of make sure it was pretty, as you can see right there, it's pretty much right in the center of my body. Um, and so right here, that way, I mean, it, would, it wouldn't make sense if the smoke effect like appeared here and then I appeared there. So you want to kind of line the smoke effect um, with yourself. And again, the blending mode. Um, needs to be on lighten. Now, what I just did here was I just recorded, we're gonna go over this clip first. I just recorded myself basically just standing there and then boom, I just snapped my fingers. That's literally just the first shot. And then this, uh, I'll go ahead and just disable this right here. And this shot, as you can see right here, go ahead and play it and then boom that's all i did for this i just kind of sound like i came out of like a portal basically yeah it's probably a little bit of overacting but it was my best attempt at acting so that's literally the, that's literally um the second clip right here it's just me pretending like i just came out of a portal um as you can see right here snap my fingers and then boom i just acted like i came out of a portal and that's basically that clip um now what i'm gonna do is i'll head over here to this freeze frame clean plate. So what I just did, I'll go ahead and just disable this top clip right here. And as you can see right here, this is literally just a shot of my background without me in it. And that's a clean plate. A clean plate is a shot of the background um, without you actually in the background. So you may ask yourself, okay, well, how do I do that? Also, when you have freeze frame, you want to go over here to the speed options and then click on hold. Um, that's how you create a freeze frame. Then you'll be asking yourself, okay, well, why do I want a clean plate? Well, let's go ahead and remove the clean plate and well, nothing happened. It, it looks perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and play it as you can see right here. Boom. The screen turns black and then I reappear. I mean, I guess that I'm now looking at it. It actually might be a cool effect, but for the most part, you want the background as you can see right here. It would just be black. So you need a clean plate. So when you disappear, so after you disappear, there need, the background still needs to be there. And that's why you have a clean plate. So when you disappear, the background doesn't just turn um, black. But if that's the look you're going for, then obviously don't have a clean plate. Um, and I also got this music track from Epidemic Sound. And I also got this thing right here, a snap finger sound effect um, from Epidemic Sound, as you can see right here. I'll go ahead and zoom in the timeline and basically as soon as I snap my fingers I just put a sound effect from epidemic sound that's not actually me snapping my finger um, that's a sound effect 
um, from Epidemic Sound. And that's pretty much it. The top is just an adjustment layer for coloring. Um, and these smoke effects, I'll put the download link in the description. You want to adjust it to make sure it's centered with you. Um, the blending mode is lightened. Um, and then, obviously, this clip and this clip can be different. You can just tap your fingers. You can do whatever you want. And then you want to kind of kind of overact a little bit. I mean, this is definitely way too, this is way over overly acted. Um, but that's pretty much what you're doing here. You want to make sure there's a clean plate. So it's basically just a shot of the background without you in it. So it actually looks like you just disappeared. Um, and remember the speed option right here, hold, and that's how you create a freeze frame. And then I just have a sound effect and a music track. Both are from Epidemic Sound. Highly, highly encourage you to get a subscription for Epidemic Sound. Um, and that's pretty much it. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with almost 80 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check that out. I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys in the next one. Peace.